Mike had everything that a hockey player would, uh, would like to have. Good size, uh, great skater, uh, unbelievable passer and, and great shot. He gets everything into that Easton aluminum stick. His resiliency, um, you know, I, I think it's, it's never easy in, in the 80s and 90s, you know, all the good players were targets. Being uh, our best player uh, for so many, so many years, he had his share of uh, bumps and bruises, but he always came back and, and played harder. Here he comes, Madonna, a shot, he scores! Oh, brother, what a goal! His super talent was his speed, his skating, that the jersey flap, and I don't really think he had a weakness. Mike was really just a kid at heart. He was, he was goofing off, smiling every day at the rink, playing the kids' game. There's Madonna teeing it up, waiting, still dragging the puck, waiting on Fise, a shot, he scores! What impressed me most about, about Mike was just how good he was every second while he was on the ice. Uh, everything he did was just was pure. The way he skated, the way he passed it, shot it. His backhand was, for me, the most feared. Madonna cutting to his right, a backhand, he scores! And when he went, our team went, so that guy was about as elegant as a hockey player as I've ever seen. Mike's statue worthy just because of anyone that thinks of Dallas Stars hockey, it's, it's Mike Madonna. You know, everywhere we went, everyone wanted to see Mike Madonna. I think he's, uh, it's an honor that he deserved. Mike Madonna's legacy is unparalleled. Mike was everything. You know, he had the looks, he had the talent, had the smile, had the charisma. Uh, he'll forever be the face of it, and now immortalizing him with a statue is, you know, the right thing to, to do for what he really meant to this franchise and what he meant to so many fans and teammates, you know, for this now long story franchise.